6.1 is called periodic functions. Now, periodic functions are not necessarily sinusoidal functions, which is the name of chapter 6. So they start with um, what a periodic, periodic function is by discussing what the period is. So basically, a periodic function is any function that has a period that repeats. Now, maybe I got you lost on the word period here. What we're talking about is, could you cut and paste this over and over and over again? That's probably the best way to describe a periodic function. If the function has a repeating pattern, so it could be things like in your textbook where they talk about machines operating, uh, a saw blade that goes up and down and up and down and up and down on a regular basis, and you can actually cut this little from here to here. You can see how it starts to repeat once I go here. So if I took this and I cut and pasted it, I could paste it over and over and over again. So this function could just keep going and going and going. So that's what they mean by periodic functions. Now the period of the function depends on how long it takes for the pattern to repeat. So as you're going through this chapter, this distance from here to here can take on different meaning, meanings depending on the context of the word problem. Or if you're talking about a sine function that has been compressed or stretched um, horizontally. But basically with a sine function, which we will look at in 6.2, the sine uh, function repeats after 360 degrees. And that should make sense to you because we've gone around with the um, in the last chapter talking about different angles as we moved the um, initial arm around to get to a terminal arm. We went around 360 degrees and likewise for the sine function this one complete cycle is going to be 360 degrees. So the period means how long before the pattern repeats. So with the sine function it would be 360 degrees but for um, a saw blade it might be a few seconds, right? So how long before um, pattern repeats. So again, if you can't cut and paste it, it's not periodic. If you can, it is. The other few terms, and this, this is a very easy section by the way, so 6.1, consider this here, your lovely introduction to sinusoidal functions or just simply periodic ones at the start. So the peak is right here. There's another peak here, right? The highest point. So this would be the highest point, highest point, the trough. I know that's a weird word, isn't it? Trough. Trough is the lowest. So these are peaks up here because you reach the peak of the mountain or the trough. You feed pigs from a trough. So it has to have a low point. So those are your troughs. This is the low point or the lowest point. And the amplitude. Now here's a word that you haven't seen before. The amplitude is the distance between the axis. Maybe we should have described the axis first. But the axis is this line right here in the middle. Jump on the right pen. So the axis is right here, okay? So the axis is the line that divides your function into two parts. Line that divides function in half. Okay, so this would be your axis, equation of the axis. So in this case, it would be like y equals zero if this was x and y. Usually it's theta, right? So theta 360 degrees, theta 180 degrees. We'll do a lot more of these in 6.2 and so on. 
So the amplitude, going back to that, that's this distance from here to here. <clears throat> that's your amplitude. Let's put a little arrow up to there. So the amplitude is a distance from the axis to a peak or the axis to a trough. And it is an absolute value. <coughs> so you wouldn't say the amplitude is minus one. No, the absolute is the amplitude is one. So it's an absolute value. That means a positive, right? A positive value. You don't say negative. Negative amplitude. So in <coughs> trig functions, the amplitude is one and minus one. And we'll discuss more about that in 6.2. So that's all there was in periodic functions. I'm sure if you read through the textbook, it's it's very straightforward. They talk about, like I said, about different machines and how long before the pattern repeats. It's not a difficult lesson. You'll all ace that part. On to something more difficult with 6.2.